Hello friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design a shape metal component which you can see on the right side by using the dimension drawings which you can see on the left. So finally I'll be unfolding the shape metal to this uh, to form this particular uh, shape metal component which you can see here. So let me switch back to the shape metal component which I was working and the next thing what you need to do is to create a hem. So uh, walls and swept walls and hem. As you can see here there is a hem here so just select the edge any edge you want you can select it really doesn't matter as long as you give it the reverse direction and see that uh, the length is basically 5 and just click on OK and that creates the hem and make sure that uh, the radius for the hem is 1mm so that creates the hem there and uh, do the same technique to create another hem on the other side right here reverse direction that creates another hem here and uh, the next thing what you could do is to create a cutout which you can see here so just go for just firstly click on the sketch and create a sketch first so what you can do is create a circle there and uh, just use little axis and now you could dimension this to 20 so it comes in the center and this one as 25 so that comes in the center and <coughs> the radius or the diameter of this is 6 radius 6 and that creates the circle and it's constrained now and uh, you can see a small rectangular cut is there so what you can do simply is create a uh, centered rectangle which falls in the same line for this and now this particular dimension is 2 and this one is basically 5 alright now you can really use the eraser and just trim out whatever is not required and as I've trimmed out the other dimension you could really give the dimension once again and delete this come out of the sketch right now and then go for insert cutting and cut out you could go for up to last and click on OK that creates the cutout on both the faces and uh, there is only one more thing which need to be done and that I'm going to show you in the next tutorial if you have any doubts on whatever I've done in this tutorial I know it's a uh, I have uh, shown two things on the on this particular part but if you have any doubt just come below the video and I'll be getting in touch with you if you have any CAD related projects you could write to me at kitia.pro.user at gmail.com thank you so much for watching and stay tuned